Knowles News! It's Knowles News! I'm young for that. Well, Noel, how are you? Fine. Good. Just good. halfway through a custard cream. Okay, good man. Um, you have new spectacles on? Yeah, I had to, I had to get glasses. Um, You're looking at things you shouldn't be looking at? Yeah. <laughs> bound to catch up on you. I'm going blind, yeah. You're doing too much of that shaking the bottle. I <laughs> <laughs> warn you about that. Oh, God. Do you like them? No. <laughs> okay. Um, Just quickly, do you remember last week I had a story about a stone statue of the head of the Egyptian pharaoh, Tutankhamun? Yeah. And it was for sale. Just to follow up, it sold six million. Six million dollars. Some cash for a bit of stone. Wow. It did. Yeah. And it got me thinking... I should probably sell that ancient arrowhead I have at home. Did I ever tell you about that? No. It's from the Stone Age. And I'd want big money for it. How, how? Well, you see, I would want big money for it because I went through two angle grinder blades making it. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Egypt is suing. They're going soon Christie's auction house. And I have to say, I'm very disappointed in Christie. <laughs> I remember him when he started. Cattle auction. On the mark. Had a bad, had a bad, had a bad, 25. Sold to the man who looks like a spot. <laughs> now, Christy was very good. Now, we're going to get straight into news. No faffing about this week. New story, number one. Hampshire in England, right? Possibly a kip. I don't know. I was what? never there. And I'm doing okay. <laughs> doing fine without going. But there's a man there called Tom Carter. And... He's stone broke. He's like Mike Denver's dream of becoming Ireland's most stylish man. <laughs> that's Broken. A, that's Irish. Broken. His children spent all his money. Tom, right? Tell you how. The kids, right? I know children spent the money. You think to be the wife, but anyway. The kids, <laughs> the kids in England nowadays play a game on the computer called FIFA. And... <laughs> You wouldn't believe this, but FIFA is lads playing soccer on a computer. Yeah. FIFA. Can you not play it outside? Have they no feet? Have they no legs? Have they no boots? <laughs> not go outside and play? Are they unwell? <laughs> like, why are they pretending to play a game on the computer that they can just go outside and play? That's, that's all they're going now, computer games. Just up, down, one, two, X. Yeah. Some fella on screen drinks a pint. I'll drink it. <laughs> I'll do it in real life. <coughs> what I mean? I don't go home and plan a video of someone else tackling camel. <laughs> do it yourself. If someone is going to do battle with that woman, let it be me. <laughs> I'll tank them, okay? So these young boys playing FIFA, they chose the team that they want to play as, right? They choose what team you want to be. But in the game, which Mr. Tom Carter said he paid about £40 for the game, big money, you can buy more players, about £10 to go. And you buy what they call a player pack. But you don't know who's in the pack. So when you pay the £10, you could get Ronaldo or you could get Tommy Magno. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know who you're getting. Young Tommy, you know, you know Tommy. I know Tommy, yeah. Like, he's fit, but he's not going to win your World Cup. <laughs> <laughs> so Mr. Carter, he bought the kids one player pack. <laughs> and didn't he realise they seen how he did it. So when he went off to work... Did I interrupt you? <laughs> Siri. On the phone. Who's that? <laughs> no, you must have, you must have triggered the old iPhone. Siri. Have you someone on the phone? No, no. Hang up, will you? No. I'm in the middle of the news. <laughs> That's the height of ignorance. <laughs> Pardon me when I make a phone call in your face. <laughs> now, as I was explaining before you interrupted me, he, he bought one of these player packs and the children seen how he did it. So when he went off to work, they bought a fucking heap of him. Oh. They bought every, every player they wanted. They went, bye, 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 bye. And he didn't know there was nothing wrong until he went to the shop and his card got turned down. They'd spent all his money. Oh, my God. On, in their, inside in the FIFA. <laughs> uh, the young lads emptied out his bank account. And still, they didn't get their favourite player, Lionel Messi. Wow. I think they got most of the burn court back four. <laughs> No sign yet of Brian Irwin. <laughs> <laughs> so be careful where you enter your bank details because 
children are pricks. <laughs> and now in fairness to Nintendo, they did give him a refund. Nintendo? Nintendo. <laughs> okay, I thought it was maybe a PlayStation or an Xbox. No, it was a Nintendo okay. <laughs> Switch. <laughs> Switch. And um, the father has thrown the Nintendo out the window. Good man, good man. <laughs> so that is story number one. Just be careful where you're entering your bank account. And my second story of the week, I have a right woman for you. Oh, lovely. I have a right woman for you. <coughs> Lauren is dying of consumption. <laughs> is, he, is he looking after you well? Who? Johnny Stacks. Ah, he is, yeah. I made makeup with tea there earlier. Oh, Feeling a bit under the better, no. Okay. Um, this woman, she's 29 years of age. She sings. She's not a great woman for tarts or bacon. Okay. But last year, she earned... One hundred and eighty-five million dollars. I like her already. You could probably just buy a tart. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how much tarts go for these days, but surely, um, her name, Anne Doyle. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, it's not. It's Taylor Swift. Oh yeah. Which sounds like a kind of bad solicitor's firm to me, <laughs> Mr. Taylor and Mr. Swift. But anyway, Taylor Swift is a singer. Did you ever hear of her? Yeah. Uh, Laura. Yeah, I saw her live last year in Crow Park. Go away. I did. Yeah. I never heard of her. <laughs> You know what I mean? They don't play her on Tip Midwest, so <laughs> I wouldn't have heard of her. No, they don't. But she had a big song called Look What You Made Me Do, which is what I say to Huey in the Shamrock of a Sunday morning <laughs> <laughs> after 15 pints. Last week, I stole an ostrich. <laughs> <laughs> How did you manage that? Oh, there's a farm out to Clamell Road. Things got out of hand. <laughs> I punched the ostrich right in the neck. That's a story for another day. It's a disclaimer there. We don't don't agree with animal <laughs> cruelty here in the well, podcast. If he wants to dance, I'll dance. <laughs> <laughs> he pecked me first. I didn't peck him. She had another song called I Don't Want to Live Forever. And that's after she went on a night out in Mullingar. <laughs> <laughs> she wrote another hit song then called I Knew You Were Trouble, which she wrote after she had her heart broken by Pat Kenny. <laughs> He's a bad boy. He's a bad boy. He's a bad boy. Now, I'm talking about her because the list is out of the highest earners, and she tops the list of celebs. She did a few gigs, uh, pubs, community halls, <laughs> that kind of thing, and her tour brought in last year $226 million oh. before tax. Oh. So I, I don't know how honest she is now. <laughs> I hope there was no one taking any photos of them gigs. Uh, $226 million be grand for cash, wouldn't it? Number two on the list of celebs. Have a guess. Kim Kardashian. I don't know who that is. It's uh, <laughs> Kylie Jenner. Jenner. Kylie Jenner. Again, a girl I didn't know about. She's from America and she sells makeup. And she started selling makeup <laughs> uh, lipstick kits for $29 in 2015. And now she's worth a billion. Wow. And she's 21 years old. And she had a billion dollars. Imagine that. When I was 21, I had to fight my father for the second sport. <laughs> <laughs> he had the head of the table. And I I didn't want, I, I didn't agree with this at all. I wanted to move out and start my own thing, my own little empire. So when I was a child, neither of us would accept the other one at the head of the table. I had to get a second table <laughs> so that we could both sit at the head of the table. Just the mother was broke up going from table to table. <laughs> <laughs> Brother Ty came along then Ty came along then He had the same idea He sat out in the yard <laughs> <laughs> He refused To be outmanned By either of us Oh great, my god Great respect for Ty <laughs> But he was ahead of his own table I give him that <laughs> He might have been out in the yard But he was his own man <laughs> When he was a boy <laughs> Third on the list Of celebs Kanye West The lad who sells the tuna <laughs> 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 a lot of people eating tuna these days. Yeah, yeah. I want to go easier to be none of it left. <laughs> Number four, Leo Messi, the footballer. Yeah. He kicked soccer with um Barcelona since two thousand and three. He has scored he played six hundred and eighty seven matches and scored six hundred and three goals and won ten Liga titles. <laughs> La Liga, yeah. I had that when I was minor. <laughs> <laughs> And he made $127 million <coughs> last year. Wow. And I didn't. <laughs> yeah, that's the difference. Number five on the list of celebs' earnings. Ed Sheeran. Mm. 
the singer. No, it is. Not Ed Sheehan. <laughs> Klein, you have the song in it, but he could have big money too, but you wouldn't know, he wouldn't tell you. And Sheeran got $110 million from his tour last year. Some That's some money, isn't it? Yeah. Some cash. That's the richness. But you know who else is making some money from his tour? Well, Muddy Burke. <laughs> <laughs> he picks up these Americans at the airport and he takes them on a tour and he goes to the Cliffs of Carlo. <laughs> and <No>. <laughs> <laughs> And he goes to the tropical rainforest of Wexford. Oh, my God. And then there's a Native American burial ground in Durrow. <laughs> <laughs> and he charges them a fortune because no one else can give this tour. They ca- the big companies can't find these places. Oh. So Muddy Burke, <laughs> he knows the spots to go. <laughs> and when he told me about the, the tour now, in fairness, he was quite drunk. Was he? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, he, he might get on the list. Yes. Someday. Yeah. Top earning man in the world last year. Everybody in- included. <sighs> Laura? McGregor? No. Mm. So he's a celeb. He'd have been on that list. You. Mark oh. Zuckerberg? I don't know who he is now. No, it was um, Jeff Bezos from Amazon. All oh, right, Jess. He point. must be logging timber on the Amazon. Or <laughs> something I don't know and I want to cut it down. Just lads, um, very sad note on the local news. I, I would have I would have brought this sooner but it was just too painful I had to take some time to compose myself and, and let let the news settle if any small children listening I strongly advise turn off now a death has occurred of Bruce the Goose Bruce was one of the head geese down at the castle. <laughs> Very popular goose with local people. He was hit by a grey car <laughs> at ten past nine Friday week. And he was killed dead. <laughs> the car that hit Bruce the goose then drove off without stopping, said eyewitness Mark the Badger. Gardy have been contacted. <laughs> Gardy have been contacted, but knocking down a goose is like being stupid. It's not illegal, but it is frowned upon. <laughs> Local councillor Andy Maloney, who he had on the show here. We did, yeah, we did. He organised a candlelit vigil for <laughs> Bruce the Goose. Prayers to the faithful were read by Sharon the Squirrel. <laughs> Family flowers only. Bird nuts, if desired, <laughs> <laughs> to the geese and ducks at the castle. And the whole committee were there. Were they? The whole committee were there. There was Mary Carey, mm. Tara Mara, Julie Maluli, <laughs> Karen Barron, <laughs> and Pauline Harty. <laughs> Refreshments were served afterwards in the Shamrock Lounge. And they put on some spread in fairness to them now. Did they? And I must have it nine pound of cocktail sausages. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know the goose. <laughs> <laughs> we gave him a good send off. That's the job. We gave him a good send off now. And Andy disposed of the body. Did he? Yeah. Now I don't know whether he buried him or cooked him. But what? <laughs> after this terrible hit and run incident, our thoughts and prayers are with the family of Bruce the Goose. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. May he forever be happy out. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> forever be happy yeah. just uh, a few, a few um, things to follow up on last week's um, Noel's News Tootin Cameron right hmm. Big, a lot of people on to me about Tootin Cameron yeah. he, he was mummified when he was buried right with an erect penis Whoa. that is a fact that's some going yeah, what a way to go. <laughs> what a way to die. On a rager. Yeah. <laughs> I definitely want to die on a horn. Yeah. Oh, when I go up to meet St. Peter, or the Divot, whoever it is, <laughs> I want to be on a full horn. <laughs> and a loaded gun, and they won't refuse me entrance. No. Let there be no confusion. I want I want to have the biggest lad in heaven. <laughs> I'm going to do some damage. Yeah. And then I'll tell all them angels, 
Shut your mouth when Carmel gets here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also on the car boot sale, still no sign of a fine-haired German Shepherd pup that I'm looking to buy. If anyone out there is selling a German Shepherd pup, you can contact us here. And also, I'm looking for a good panel beater. Right. Because Carmel came home from town there last week and she had a wicked dent in the front of the car. <laughs> <laughs> what colour is your car? She, she's driving a grey car. <laughs> <laughs> And there's fucking bird's feathers coming out of every which way out of the car, so. Oh, brilliant stuff, no. Looking Thanks for a much. good panel beater, uh, if any you know on. Good man. <laughs> we'll see you next week. Yeah, God willing. God willing. Good luck.